Today we're going to talk about DRUJ testing. The DRUJ instability test or ballotment test involves the radiocarpal joint being stabilized with one hand while the ulna is moved back and forth against the radius with the other hand. The test should be performed with the forearm first in neutral and then again with the forearm in supination. More laxity usually occurs in the neutral position than in either pronation or supination because the joint capsule tightens as the limits of both motions are approached. An alternative position for this exam can be done with elbow flexion if that is easier for the examiner. The test should also be repeated with a contralateral side to compare the results. When comparing one side to the other, a greater amount of laxity of the involved side when compared to the uninvolved side would be a positive instability test. Also, a reciprocation of pain symptoms is an indication of a positive test. Another exam that can be carried out for assessment of wrist instability is the piano key sign. During this test, the wrist is supported in pronation and the hand is stabilized in neutral position. Force is applied to the distal ulna in a downward direction. The test is positive if there is a great degree of instability or laxity when compared to the contralateral side or a replication of pain symptoms.